Our cover story tonight is about a horrific tragedy in Libya. This morning, a deadly airstrike took place at a detention center full of migrants. At least 44 people have been killed. The United Nations has said that this could be a war crime. The detention center was located next to a military camp in the eastern suburb of Tajura. It housed around 600 people. Women and children were among the victims. At least 6,000 migrants from different parts of Africa are locked inside several detention facilities in Libya. In many ways, Libya has become a gateway for Europe, to Europe rather, for illegal migration. In fact, the largest flow of modern African migrants to Europe is through Libya. These migrants leave their countries with a hope for a better life. But they have to survive in dire conditions, difficult and trying journeys. These people are often at the mercy of abusive traffickers. Libya itself has been torn by crises since 2011. It began with the Arab Spring protests, followed by a civil war. After the ouster of Muammar Gaddafi, a period of instability followed. A second civil war broke out in 2014. Ultimately, a ceasefire was brokered by the United Nations in December 2015. A new government called the Government of National Accord took charge. Prime Minister Fayaz al-Saraj is the head. But this government does not have popular support. Several militia groups back the other side. That's the Libyan National Army, the other side. And it is this Libyan National Army, or the LNA, that is being blamed for today's attack. In a statement, the United Nations supported government of Libya has blamed General Khalifa Haftar, the head of the Libyan National Army. Reports say the LNA was fighting government forces in this area when the strike took place. Leaders around the world have condemned the attack. The United Nations, as we said, has called the strike a war crime. It has urged Libya to evacuate migration detention, migrant detention centers. Our teams are rushing onto the ground to, to provide them with assistance and to provide medical care. Uh, and we're working against the clock to get assistance to people as quickly as possible. But the, the key thing here is that the situation has to change. We can no longer have a situation where people are trapped inside detention centres, unable to escape when they get caught up in violence. Uh, and we cannot have people uh, being brought back to Libya after being rescued on the, uh, on the Mediterranean if that means being held in these detention centers. Thousands of migrants from Libya make their way to the European countries. This includes France and Italy. The European Union is watching the situation closely in Libya. They've called for a UN-led probe into this horrific strike. France too has issued a statement condemning the attack.